All right, guys, so <clears throat> we're in a bit of predicament. Um, my motor has blown up. Um, well, maybe not blown up, but something's gone wrong in the crankshaft. Uh, the flywheel won't turn and the motor will not uh, turn over. So therefore we need to do some diagnosing. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of the steps, uh, how to get into the motor, and then hopefully we can all learn something. This is my first time taking apart an outboard. Um, so it's uh, quite the undertaking, but I'm excited to, to try it and see if maybe we can get it fixed. So first things first is you gotta drop the lower unit. Why is because the drive shaft is going obviously up into and meeting with the crankshaft. And uh, if you don't drop the lower unit, you can't kind of wiggle the motor side to side to break the seal. And so the only way to lift it off of the actual shaft to drive shaft then would be to lift it exactly straight up, which is kind of tough when you're dealing with that much weight. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the lower unit off. Uh, to do that, we need to take off these three bolts on this side. So you can see those three there. And then we have the exact same three on the other side. One, two, and three. Also, you have this little gasket on top. So you're gonna go ahead and pull this little plug. There's a bolt inside of there. Once that's out, you'll actually be able to remove the trim tab. And underneath the trim tab is another bolt. And then the last and final bolt is actually this hole right in front of that trim tab plate. And that one needs removed as well. After you get all of those out, this motor is gonna separate right at the color paint change here and you'll be able to pull off the lower unit and uh, set that away for storage. You will need to remove the prop. I've already done that here. Um, it's real easy. It's just the castle nut and the pin. So you take off your prop and then store your you know, washers and things like that in a separate safe place. And then you're into taking the lower unit off. Most forward bolts will come out really easy, but there's that little uh, kind of lip on the motor and that's what's gonna prevent you from taking out the other two all the way without using a different color. Here's a little rubber grommet. Really easy to just use your fingers to get it out, otherwise you can use like a flathead or something like that. You're gonna need an extension with a deep socket to get this one out on top. Keep in mind where your trim tab is when you're removing it, so you can put it back in the same bolt. Every bolt is a 14 millimeter. The one underneath is actually a 12 millimeter in that one separate uh, socket. That's it, now we just gotta pull this thing off. Just wanna grab it with both hands, make sure you're ready for the weight. Just kinda wiggle it around and it'll come down. it there's the lower unit so thanks for checking out the channel i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did go ahead and click this free subscribe button right here you can also check out our next video over there or our most recent uploads just above my head thanks so much we'll see you next time on co fish pro